The way you cook, Jiffy, would be appropriate. I like it. Bit of uh, extra chaos. I feel like Zom also is uh, appropriate in, in their own way. Go with the pure chaos of just throwing in anything that you find around your kitchen and see what happens. Um, can definitely scorch you, my friend. Not too bad whatsoever. Yeah, no faded altar. For whatever reason, I thought that it was a, uh, a guarantee for one to show up. You know what? Let's not push ourselves too far. I was having fun just spamming foxfires in the wide open room, but let's, uh, just pull back on that a wee bit here. Start slamming on the brakes and time to see what options we have available to us here so far oh there we go there's fed ass so we do have fed ass available just to to check out to peruse our options i mean zom is there too if i wanted to go that road but let's go with fed ass get some some much needed veggies in our diet here keep healthy fantastic it's a bit of a weird combination with fire elementalist but Sometimes you gotta get a, a little bit weird here. And let's just start that fire, fantastic. You know, I never use Conjure Flame quite as much as I, I should, so it's nice to remember that. Oskubu's armor? Now that's very nice to have. Okay, and here we go. Moment of truth, can I murder you quickly enough? It seems to be the case, so that's very nice to see, but immediately would have started to take a bit of a uh, a rough turn if we hadn't been quite so lucky so happy to see it for sure and we'll just keep spamming away here to our heart's content shouldn't run into too too many issues but we'll see what we come across oh hello edmund um plus seven verbal flail and plus three ring male willpower holy moly my friend huh I mean, we can use Kubus at least. That brings us up to 14 AC. Not quite enough. Yeah, I think we do have to get out of here. The question is, how? Polymorph, like no shot, right? 17% chance. I mean, I could kill all those things, so it would be nice. But unfortunately, I think we're uh, in a bit of a rough spot if we do try to fight you. Nothing I deed though, so that's been unfortunate. <laughs> Immediately read scroll of noise, not great. Hey, blinking, there we go. Fantastic. Yes, break my armor 100%. Fantastic. And in fact, if we're feeling a little bit, a little bit spicy here today, I mean, at least this buddy doesn't have wands this time, so I'm feeling slightly more comfortable in our odds and then we can kind of just spam foxfire to our heart's content holy moly plus seven vorpal flail sure i'll take it even the ring mail of willpower potentially might end up using at some point here not too shabby and let's learn from our previous mistake shall we let's start training up things other than spell casting slightly earlier in the run so we don't end up sure being able to cast everything we could possibly want but on the flip side not really having anything else going for us to back it up. So this puts us in a much more balanced, comfortable spot. And last but not least, I should probably also start keep IDing stuff. Okay, plus eight Warple Flail, sure. Amnesia, absolutely useless to us. And there's our ID scrolls finally coming into play. Fantastic. Lots of Lig Potions today. Apparently that's just the, uh, the flavor of the evening for your troubles. Light Amnesia can immediately be dropped, and then let's just get right back on the highway to the danger zone here. Fantastic. Interesting. Okay, let's start to play this slightly, just ever so slightly more cautiously, shall we? At least throw down the conjure flame and not too shabby whatsoever. Beautiful stuff. We'll have to see it. Uh, 
Okay. Steam Dragon shouldn't be too much of an issue for us, seeing as how we at least have good fire resistance innately here. So that's beautiful. And that's not too shabby whatsoever. Holy moly. Just blitzing our way through here. Without a care in the world, I'm more than ready for that to blow up in my face completely. But for the time being, it's kind of nice at the moment. And definitely scorch you immediately, my icing. Oh. Okie dokie. Oh, geez Louise, I was casting the wrong spell, my bad. Just lit a fire at my feet and stood in the <laughs> conflagration until everything almost went sour on us. My bad, my bad. Oh, already mixing up all of our uh, macros here. But okay, Maggie, we'll leave you alone for the time being here. We'll probably come back for you in relatively short order, at least for the moment. Let's uh, let's just chill out the slightest bit, shall we? Too shabby. Still a ways off from Fedhas doing anything meaningful to our run. Gosh darn it, Maggie. Wasn't quite ready to, to hang out yet, but I think I can probably just scorch you into the next life. Fantastic. And exclusion can be removed here. And not too shabby. Holy moly. We're definitely going, and I would love to get into an ossuary as a fire elementalist. I mean, the arrow's pointing this way. The game wouldn't lie to me, right? It's gotta be. Hey, look at that. Not quite in the same direction the arrow was pointing, but they they were doing their best at the directions. I can appreciate that. You mean you can already shoot through plants to get to Thornwell to create your own cover? That is true. We can shoot through plants and more on or more so than that. We also are friends with all plants. So any oak clubs and stuff we find are friends, not food. So that's fantastic. I guess that kind of runs antithetical to the whole reason we picked Fedhas to add veggies into our, our pasta dishes here, but I'm sure they understand. What's what's a bit of uh, bore between friends? <laughs> um, but otherwise not too shabby here. Brain had no idea where to go with that, <laughs> so we'll just leave it off right as it was. Let everyone use their own imagination. Well, when you pick some tomatoes, you don't kill the plant. Yeah, but you could also say if you chop someone's hand off and eat it, you're not killing them, and I still don't think they're going to be very cool about it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it depends on the person. Again, it depends on the friendship. <laughs> maybe you have a, a connection that I just uh, I just don't quite understand. It's, that's the dream, being able to indulge in a little bit of uh, cannibalism between friends. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's finish off the last little bit of this ossuary here. A nice amount of treasure for us to bring with us back out to the dungeon here. So that is just lovely. And in fact, before we continue forward, let's get a couple more IDs out of here, shall we? Useless magic potion, useless degeneration potion. Perfect. <laughs> just what we needed. But still not the end of the world, one way or another. Another artifact robe? Ooh, with regen on it. I mean, I do really like our current setup here. But I have a sneaking suspicion that regen might be the uh, the way to go. I guess we'll miss out. No, okay, don't keep disrobing. People could stop walking in on me changing. I would really appreciate that. Please and thank you. And let's see how this regen goes for us, shall we? Ooh. Ice statue definitely run comes with its own, uh, own amount of risk, especially over those clouds could immediately ruin our day. But until that moment in time, we can at least fox fire infinitely here with the regen, so that's kind of nice. And let's just slow it down a little bit as we get towards the end, just to make sure that we don't get some uh, some freezing clouds coming in. Very suddenly, 
quick changes in weather, not something we can always uh, account for. So, but we'll do our best. And come on, there we go, fantastic. Holy moly, that is quite the, the treasure trove. I will gladly take that as well as a cloak, giving us a little bit of extra defense capability here. Much, much needed defense ability. And we get, oh, look at that, animate dead. Who needs to start as a necromancer, folks? Well, time to bring that into the mix here. Bit of a uh, revigoration, reinvigoration of our previous attempt. Try it on for size here. How do you do, my friend? Seven damage is not too bad. Ah. Gargoyle? That's a wee bit rough. Well, we still have Reap, but unfortunately can't get a, a can't get a zombie gargoyle. Hey, what's a what's a Jin got to do to get a gargoyle friend? We're also very near to the Bailey. Why, hello there. Bit of a Moat and Bailey situation going on here, but let's let's try this again, shall we? Ooh, undead themed. Interesting. I don't know if I've gotten an undead Bailey before. This Bailey will be different, exactly. You just gotta believe and not take uh, centaurs for granted. Though it's not seeming like we'll see as many of those. Holy moly. Okay, 10 health. So Scorch, decently likely to just murder outright. If I start reaping the souls of the dead, how we how are we feeling? Also, what am I doing? Let's, uh, let's flame wave instead. Um, excuse me? Go, go, gadget, flame wave? Am I sure I want to burn the dead tree? Oh, I see what's happening. No, okay, you're right. Sorry, Fedass, almost forgot myself there. Hope you'll forgive me for my, uh, transgressions. Holy moly, these are both orc warriors. Well, that's my bad. <laughs> like we said, this Bailey will definitely be different. Not at all risking life and limb here unnecessarily. How much damage can you do? 25? Probably 25 on you two. So I should be able to just murder each of you with a Scorch. Perfect. Never a doubt in my mind. Hello, my gargoyle friend. You can probably fly too, can't you? Yar. Well, that's fine. Whoa. Is it fine? You know what? We're turning into a tree. We're also... Getting some Ozku's armor. 34 AC is not too shabby. And then I'll escort you. Fantastic. Scorched Earth, baby. Okie dokie. Well, we're still alive. I also got this Amulet of Regeneration at some point. Let's definitely throw that bad boy on. Getting almost two health per turn is huge. Now we can freely cast Scorch. Just spam the ever-living crap out of it. That seems nice. I guess we're slightly under two per turn, so that might not be 100% accurate at the moment here. That's still very, very nice to see. Helmet of Intelligence. Plus six mace with a decent amount of resistances on it. What else have we got here? I mean, just some half-decent goods all around. What do you have, my friend? Do -do -do. 31 damage and bite for up to 15. And you have a plus three vampire Calbird. And you haven't noticed me yet, so we could just try to... Get a little bit sneaky here. We also have Wall of Briars available. And in fact, at some point here, I probably want to train at least some invocations. Make use of Fedhas since we have them on our side here. Ah. Well, I guess here goes. Okay, actually not too bad whatsoever. And I will take your Hellbird, my friend. Let's also swap over to our new... Helmet of Intelligence, and that should pretty much do it for the moment here. Keep spamming to our little hearts content. Slightly terrifying, but never doubt in my mind, of course. 
not too shabby. And that is everything. Beautiful. It's interesting that even dead trees we can't burn. Hey, FedS. Kind of a bit strange, don't you think? I guess at the end of the day, very important to the environment still. You need the uh, the fertilization process. So you know what? I take it back, FedS. I get you. I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down now. Okay, let's definitely get an army of zombies going as soon as possible here though always nice to have the uh the backup of just meat shields galore so that's fantastic and not too shabby here hopefully getting through those is a uh, a good indication as to where we'll be moving forward seeing as how we didn't immediately get ourselves killed we almost got ourselves killed in the bailey but not quite, and that's the important bit. That's what truly defines never not having it, of course. And in fact, anytime you come close to death, you probably have more health than necessary. It's only when you fully die that it's really a concern. Okay. Just gonna walk away from you my friends in fact okay no a little bit too quick on the up and up there my my friend and what did we get there i think that was animate armor as our most recent spell yeah <laughs> it's kind of interesting i guess we can see if it comes in handy right now as we're wearing robes it is not at all useful in the slightest but that's fine not the end of the world in a ring of wizardry in fact I should just be wearing this Ring of Strength, why the heck not? But Ring of Wizardry is very nice as we continue to get our slightly higher level spells made available to us here. And we're just about done D8, so let's head on down. Fantastic. Oh, my froggy pal, and can I get a uh, nice group of enemies, please? I guess this is a start. We'll see. How many come out of the woodwork here? If we can get a decent sized army. I think most of these sun's guns just hit for one damage each, so maybe not ideal. Ooh. A death yak, though. Okay, there are multiple death yaks. That's scary. Made armor is decent with dragon scales. Well, we can definitely hope to be switching into some of those later on in the run here, so that doesn't seem too bad whatsoever. Um, let's see. I will buy you, and you know, let's get some more Wand of Roots charges as well. Fantastic. And might as well actually use these ID scrolls while we have them finally getting curing. I guess we still don't have heal wounds. Maybe I should have ID'd another potion for the moment here, but that's fine. Sorry, old zombie friends. I'm a bit partial to the, the troll approach. Ooh. Maurice? Hello? Oh. I thought you'd be a potential issue spot as well. You do some damage, I guess. It's not great, but it is quite literally something. Okay, and now can I... Is there like any shot in this world? Not so much, hey? Go with ice. What else can I do? Flame wave to try and blast. There we go. We get one under our command. And that should deal a decent chunk of change here. I just have to be careful to retreat when things start to go poorly. Or maybe by our powers combined. If I can get another death yak. Oh my gosh. That is quite the, the lovely army to have at our disposal here. Love to see it for sure. In fact, to an ogre, if you just want to come hang out. I mean, they did immediately kill one of my death yaks, which is a bit of a shame, but that's fine. These things happen. Normal yak versus death yak zombies. Not even close, my friends. Fantastic. And then we should be able to just blitz our way through the entirety of the rest of the floor here. Oh, you son of a gun. Those mimics will get you. It's almost sad having to say goodbye to our animated undead armies here. They're, they're so much fun. We are up to a lot of piety here. 
with uh, Fedhas, so that's pretty nice. So Bel Blistimus Heat, I think, is Confusion. Occasionally releases spores that seek out friends or foes, rather, and violently explode, damaging and confusing all living things caught in the blast. Okay, so that does include us, it would seem. Does Overgrow permanently destroy a wall-like structure? Oh, right. Even a tree will give its life to support the will of Fedas. That is hardcore, my tree friends. And only truly indestructible walls are immune to this power. Right, so we can use this to do wall-breaking shenanigans without having Shatter available, so that's pretty fantastic. Grow Our Club is where things start to get fun here. It's not quite as strong as it was back in the day when playing Fedass was essentially just sign yourself up for a, uh, a tower defense game. But still should be quite nice. And let's see, can I kill a few of you at least? Where did my zombie go? Excuse me, zombie friend. Could we, uh... Come back, please. Ooh, how much damage do you do? 14? No, oh, fine, I won't. I won't fire at my, my friend here. Fair enough. Thank you, game, for keeping me in check. Well, still not ideal, so we're probably going to want to retreat out of here. We lost all of our new friends pretty quickly after making them, but that's not the end of the world. We'll just come over to this side of the level and see if that doesn't help us do slightly better in, for our troubles here. In fact, we can at least get a new friend is what I was just about to say, but unfortunately said new friend also decided to... Uh, make some terrible decisions. I mean, it's not their fault they are a mindless abomination here, so, I mean, what can you say at the end of the day, but, oof, <laughs> still's rough. Oh my gosh, I've never seen an unseen horror zombie. That is terrifying. That's very much like, that's some head crab energy, if I ever seen it. And there's our entrance to orc as well, fantastic. Unfortunately, I can't really put down Conjure Fire without murdering my own friends, so for the time being, we're just gonna play this as safe as we can in regards to keeping them alive. Not too shabby. And even our Unseen Horror, our favorite head crab friend, still, still keeping in there for now at the very least would love to have you until the end of the floor my friends so just do your best maybe just maybe oh my gosh so close to death you can do it i believe in you i've always believed in you hobgoblin almost enough to murder one of my orc zombies perfect that's just what you want to see but otherwise we'll just keep on keeping on here don't kill my zombie, we're so close. Yes, we did finish the level with our head crab alive. What a good unseen horror you are. What a good boy. So we hear a distant snort. Hmm. Shoot, that's the wrong spell. I need to move around some of my spells. I keep thinking that flame wave is on there. I think it's because usually I learn flame wave pretty early on in a fire elementalist run. Of course, works a little bit differently on a gin, but that's fine. This is D11, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> and there's our, our gauntlet, which I do very much want to get to. Huh. I don't think I can really take care of multiple Tengu warriors, though. So that's... Gonna be rough, I think, is how the kids talk about it. Um, can maybe do some work here, though. In fact, I should have been bringing you onto my side, if at all possible. Please, oh, step out of the fire. No. No. <laughs> Stop this. Stop this madness in the name of your king. 
Okie dokes. Let's check out our gauntlet though, shall we? Some ooh, artifact leather armor. That could be very nice indeed. Some useless boots. A nice ring though. Could be pretty swell. We got a bunch of mutations on the right here. Interesting. So okay, we get a bunch of mutation potions and polymorph wands. One artifact ring and one artifact leather armor. Okay, half decent. On this side of the equation, we get Undyed scroll, shiny helmet. What else do you have to bear, my friends? I mean, we already have the really good scrolls found, so I'm not super excited about those. The downside of this right side is that it's a lot of potential mutation for this early on. So that is rough. Find the smaller vaults tend to be harder. Definitely, it's a lot easier to get overwhelmed, especially in like the busier vaults. I think we might be okay here. The question is how how much mutation do I get come my way? 55 health on that bad boy. It's not great. Definitely not great. Can I even blind you? Well, regardless, let's let's hop in here and try it out, shall we? 100% chance to hit. And you do get blinded. Holy moly. Who knew? And then beyond that, we'll just scorch you into oblivion here. Fantastic. And what do we get? Plus one leather armor of harm, minus willpower, strength, and minus stealth. Uh, not great. I guess I'll take this. Well, it's not like he closes his eyes. Fair enough. You know, I didn't really think through the logistics of it. There's a lot of eyeball to, to sear in that situation. You've got a point. <laughs> Thanks, Railbird. I appreciate it.